Saxon, Absolutely. your IPA offices are in Melbourne city centre. Did you find yourself swept up in the protests happening there? Well, the thing with these protests is that they're actually a loud minority. We released some polling earlier this week that found that 63% of Australians want to celebrate Australia Day on January 26th. That is an overwhelming majority. And only 17% want any change regarding Australia Day. So these people are actually a loud minority. They aren't an overwhelming amount of people to justify any change. And they're actually being backed up by these woke corporate elite who got the voice to parliament disastrously wrong, trying to lecture us about all of that. And they're trying to lecture us again with these loud minority voices. So really, mainstream Australians have been able to find their voice recently. That's why we've seen the back down from Cricket Australia and the minor back down from Woolworths. And with right political leadership, we'll be able to do this all again next year and the year after that and so forth and keep Australia Day on January 26th. Here, here, the battle mm. rages on and power to the majority because, as you say, they want it to stay the same. We want it to stay the same. Unfortunately, entrepreneur and former Australian of the Year Dick Smith has joined the cohort of people saying it shouldn't be on Jan 6. He says, I think we could have this first fleet day and also change the date of Australia Day to something else that's more inclusive. But I don't know what that date would be. Wow, that's uh, compelling and rich, Dick Smith. That's the problem with these change the date people. They can never actually come up with a more suitable date, can they, Saxon? Not at all. And I'm not in favour of changing the date or the name of Australia Day because it's actually conceding ground to these activists yeah, who yeah. don't want to celebrate Australia whatsoever. You can't concede ground. We must remain it on January 26th as the majority of Australians wish it to be. Mm. Well said. Every capitulation to the left emboldens it. That's one of my mottos and people need to learn that because one capitulation simply leads to mm -hmm. the next. Now, Dick Smith says he first suggested this in 1986. So he's been a long-term campaigner of change, Tanya. Mm. How much longer until you think this dispute is resolved? Can I just add, can I just say, I don't actually recall um, Dick Smith making um, that announcement in 1986-87, um, but I do um, recall that, you know, look, Dick Smith's been passionate about Australian-made products. Uh, he's been a beneficiary of actually selling Aussie-made, you know, Vegemite and Aussie-made tomato sauce. I actually remember him uh, advertising that on Australia Day and around Australia Day in the, in the late 1990s. So he certainly knew how to make a couple of dollars on the back of Australian-made uh, merchandise. Uh, and I've got to say, I don't know if First Fleet... Um, tomato sauce or first fleet <laughs> barbecue marinade is, is, is an appetising. Doesn't, as, doesn't as, have uh, the same ring. Doesn't have the same ring, does it? So, so he certainly knows himself that it, uh, that first fleet probably won't sell and I don't think anyone's buying it. So, mm. look, I, I think we're going to see this sort of debate every year, unfortunately, OK? And I, and I think we've just got to get used to people coming up with this idea that every year let's change the date. And we've just got to get past it and just move on. The vast majority of Australians today went out and enjoyed Australia Day. Here, here. They had barbecues and still with are. their mates. Absolutely. They're still out there having a drink down at the harbour and enjoying themselves. So that's what matters, I think. I think the vast majority of Australians are enjoying Australia Day. The vast majority of Australians do have their heads screwed on.